Hey everybody, this is day 15 of Pray 714. I want to just give you an, uh, a brief exhortation taken from 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 9. Uh, the Apostle Peter was encouraging God's people. They were living with much uncertainty. They were feeling scattered. Their identity had been rocked. They had lost their normal. They had lost their normal. And the Apostle Peter wants to recalibrate them. He wants them to recenter their lives and understand and, and get back to the basics of what they're about. And he says, you are a chosen people. You are a royal priesthood. You are a holy nation. You are a people who belong to God himself, that you may declare the praises of God who called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. How beautiful that is. It's Old Testament language. There's this illusion that that what God always intended regarding his people, he's chosen you to make it happen. That the fulfillment of this is with you. And you, by the way, in scripture is plural. So there's implications that it not only is you as an individual, but it's you a part of something that, much, that is much larger than any one individual, which to me is exciting because that means we're not alone. I keep telling you that in our devotions, you're not alone. Not just because we have the Holy Spirit who's always with us, but man, we're part of a family that's far broader than what used to assemble within the four walls of a church. It's much greater than that. And what's cool is that God chooses you, that you're part of a holy nation. Why did he use the word holy? He could have said heavenly nation, Christ nation, um, God's nation, holy nation. Why? Because God is holy. And God has chosen you to represent his holiness in a fallen world. Now, that may sound crazy, but because of what Christ has done for you, he's going to help you become more and more like Jesus. And in doing so, you're going to reflect that righteousness is something can be, that we can be attracted to. That it's something we long for. Why? Because you're part of a holy nation. That, that God is using you to illustrate this. That it's not about some moral majority or some moral prude in this guy. No, God is holy and his holiness brings wholeness in our lives. And he longs for you to be an illustration of that. And you declare his praises that he, how he called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. And then that, that last descriptor where he says, you are people that belong to God himself. Man, that is power packed. In other words, if God be for you, who could be against you? No one, my friend. You're on the winning team. You're on a team. You're the A team. You're the A team that God has chosen. In a day and age of a worldwide historic pandemic, God believes that you are part of his team that's going to represent him. And he's going to have your back because you belong. Now, you may be wrestling with some isolation right now. And your normal has been thrown off. But you still belong to him. And he wants to pull you close and reassure your soul that you're not alone. Praying for you, believe in you. You, my friend, matter.